Hey guys, so this is Collector's Dream again. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to post another video of any of the diecasts. So just with moving around, it's been hard to show them. But I thought I'll do a, a whole video. Um, so as we can see to my left, we have a couple of action figures new into my collection. Super Saiyan Goku, after the battle with Frieza. In the middle, we have the, uh, the main character from Assassin's Creed 2, Ezio. And followed by probably one of the most recognizable characters in um, gameplay or even anime, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. And along with them, we do have a few diecasts which I managed to pick up over the last couple of weeks. So let's get back into it. Um, not really buying new ones at the moment, just because I'm trying to keep the amount of them to a limit. But uh, these ones just kind of had to get. This is a matte white Porsche. If you guys can see it. So it's got um, it's got blue headlights, extra metal glass, and not just painted. It it's very smooth as well. It's a pretty heavy one. I bought a couple of them. Uh, it just looks really incredibly good. Like like I said before in my previous videos, I'm not a Porsche collector, so I only had this like I think my third different type of a Porsche that I do have, but. Couldn't say no to this one. So let's just put that one aside. Next we have an Infinity. Um, I love these cars. Hopefully one day I get to drive one of these for real. I prefer this one over the Porsche as well. I don't know. Yeah. So moving on. We have a Rock and Roll Thunderbird. Um, I think they're from early thousands. 2003. Not bad looking one. Next we have a Welly, picked up for 99 cents. Not bad. Once 160 for scale. I've been telling everybody as well in my videos that um, Wellies are, uh, they don't do many different cars, but some of the cars that I do, you kind of have to get. Here we have a Corvette. If I'm correct, this is one of the Corvettes that was in one of the Transformer films, but I think it was a silver color. Regardless, it's a pretty cool convertible, and um, yeah, couldn't really pass on it. And the two small ones here, uh, the two different uh, color color variations on the Australian Ford Ford Falcon, or I think maybe I don't think they're called Ford, yeah, Ford Falcon still. And I don't know how about America, but I know in Australia, uh, this is the last next year is the last year that they'll be ever made. So we have the black one and the white one. These are two different color variations. Thought I'd have to get them for the fact that they have different color variations. Here we come up in a, it's a model of the Easter year, Matchbox. And if we look into it, uh, it's a 1938, never heard of that brand. I mean, it's in Hispara Suyaza, don't get me wrong. 1973, so it's a pretty vintage car. Like the tires, like the body as well. Um, they're pretty cool. Look, I reckon like anybody should, if you like cars, you should have to put in your collection. And here we have is a Toblerone truck. I also modeled the Easter year, obviously. Pretty cool as well. Um, so you've seen the action figures. I think, I think Goku's probably the most badass one out of them. All the detail on his on him as well is pretty pretty cool. And we move on to um, Broom, which is an Italian-made diecast. Um, if you can see, here we go. I have the box for them as well. But first, I'll show you the actual diecast. If, if you don't mind getting the 143 scale, I really recommend it. Can't go wrong, they're really, really, really cheap as well. You can pick them up on eBay for 10, around 10 bucks, maybe even a little bit less. Not including postage and handling. But the good thing is that they're detailed. They're made in Italy, so they're not going to break. And um, just give it a couple of years once other collectors and other people realize. That they're around. They have nice detail to them. Nice, nice, nice. I guess a uh, nice shape, design. 
well built and they'll, they'll start to go up in price so yeah made in Italy now if you if you, if you remember from my previous videos that I always have um, always try and show one or two other action figures and most of them are kind of comic related so just let you know I'm also a comic collector and Wolverine is like I said before is one of my favorite characters in comics oh, I forgot to show you my um the box this is one of the boxes for Broom so this is the one for Ferrari 312 horsepower 400 horsepower so it's this one that's there you go so yeah so it was in the box Collector's model, not a toy, and unsuitable for children. Comes with a little card that tells you about everything about the car. Yeah. So they're pretty cool. Like, if I was a collector, I mean, if you are a collector of Ferraris, or just old vintage cars, really look into Broom. You wouldn't regret it. Um, let's get back to the comic. There we go. So, uh, like I said, I'm a huge Wolverine fan, and I do have an extensive collection of comics on my computer and some hard on actual ones but uh, I had to get these uh, these are very many condition the Frank Miller artwork for the first limited series of Wolverine in 1982 and that was the third this is the fourth one this is the last issue of that four limited run I also pre-ordered I also well, didn't pre-order I ordered I bought on eBay this, this figure, so the whole design with the uh, this little cigar and the hair. Um, so hopefully that comes within a couple of next weeks. I'll hopefully show it to you as well. So, and then this is um, the first Wolverine issue of his own monthly, or uh, well, the first Wolverine comic in his monthly issue. So number one in 1988. Pretty cool cover. This this is a uh, I got this from a garage sale in America. I think you guys call them the yard, the yard sales. And this is a Thor 1972. So it's 20 cents. Pretty 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 okay condition. I want to say bad condition, but it's not really bad. I mean, it's got a few dents and but yeah. Batman. I think this has got like a really awesome cover. Really like the uh, the photography. How he's kind of trying to take a photo of you. The Killing Joke. And um, last, the last comic that I got uh, within the period of time from my last video um, is a Shadowhawk number one. Signed by the, uh, the creator, um, Jim Valentino, I think his name is. I might be wrong, so don't quote me for it. Um, never heard of it before. Not really a big fan of it. I read it. It wasn't the greatest, but I really liked the other uh, cover. Really like the black and how like the mask stand out with the red eyes. Yeah, so this is my f my first haul video, guys. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, if you have any comments, please feel free to write. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.